You have to account for why something is wrong as much as you have to account for why it's right. And here the problem is that Petra and Petros are words that go back to Homer. And you can find that in a good lexicon like Thayer or Bauerdanker. And if you know your Greek, you know those lexicons are very well known. So there's really no excuse for not knowing the difference between Petra and Petros in Greek. None. Zero. Likewise, there's no excuse for not knowing that Latin had no word Petra and had no word Petrus or Petram. Okay, Petra in Latin. Okay, and that's what you're seeing in the trailers. What are the Latin words? Now, what had to have happened was that when the emerging group that became known as the Roman Catholics were compiling the, the manuscripts um, and translating it into Latin, they just took the Greek and transliterated it. They don't do it universally, as you'll see in these videos. Okay, but they mostly used Petra. Now, in doing that, they're using a very famous word because, again, it goes back to Homer. So, if you know your Greek and you know Latin, you know that's what got done. And then they play little gender and gender noun games with the with the noun endings of Petra in the Latin. They attach Latin endings to a Greek word, so that masks the difference between the classical Greek origin of Petra, which is big, versus Petras, which is a little chip. And you know what? If it goes on long enough, like hundreds of years, which it's gone on, people are going to forget the origin, the Greek origin of the word, so that by the time the Vulgate comes out in like 400 A.D., and, and then, of course, Jerome's version, which he wrote in 400 A.D., but it got, you know, sort of deep-sixed for another 400 years. So Jerome's version didn't become mainstream until about 800 A.D. And you can check that. I'm talking off the top of my head, but the dates are approximately right. So by the time the Vulgates come out, people don't remember the origin of Petra. They've been using it to mean Peter all this time. So they don't remember. So the lie got covered up. I mean, initially you can say, well, it's not really a lie because it's bald that they transliterated it. Yeah, and over hundreds of years, if you don't want it to be known, you, it's convenient. Because the, you have to be careful of gender, gender matching in, in Greek grammar and in Latin grammar. And in the first century, it would have been real obvious what got done. And in the second century of prior, especially when they started capitalizing, you know, Petrus. Because there's no capitalization in the Greek. It was all block letters. So you can tell that they're playing this game. And after a hundred years or so, people are going to forget. So that's it. As far as I'm concerned, this is documented. And the Bible just happens to preserve the way the Vulgate used the real Latin words versus the transliteration, and that's what these videos show. As far as I'm concerned, Roman Catholicism has its hand in the cookie jar, and it's real obvious if you watch the videos.